fixing it. Two quick issues, if I can, because I'm going to run out of time with you. I know there's six days to yeah, go, sure. and, and I know you don't yeah. want to count your chickens before they're hatch, they hatch. But if Democrats do take the House, you've been critical of Nancy Pelosi's leadership of the Democratic caucus, and you've suggested that perhaps you won't support her as speaker if you guys do take the House. She said maybe she could serve as some kind of transitional speaker a year or two, one term or two before ceding it to perhaps the next generation. Could you accept that? No, it's not time for a transitional leadership. We need leadership of a new generation. It's time for a new generation of leaders in Washington, not just in, not just in the Republican Party, but in our party and the Democratic Party as well. We need leaders uh, who are going to actually bring our party back together. Uh, we need leaders who are going to unite Americans rather than divide them. We need leaders who speak to the next generation of Democrats. You know, uh, Leader Pelosi's message to people like who are willing to challenge the status quo or, or question the establishment is you're, 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 you're too ambitious. We need ambition in America. We need leaders who are going to tackle the tough challenges like immigration, like improving health care. And that's what I'm seeing in, in candidates like Amy who are running across the country. I'm going to go see Mikey Sherrill uh, up in New Jersey, uh, Chrissy Houlihan in Pennsylvania. These are amazing new Democratic leaders who are willing to take on these tough, uh, tough issues. And people look at them and say, that's the future of our party. That's